Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience. Now in the previous video I said I was on my way to regret Marina. I'll uh, just check the pitching machine, make sure it's full. Uh, there's one up there, it might be difficult to get to. Anyway, yes, I'm down here. I'll tell you a few about, uh, a little bit about Agret Marina. Now, this door is locked. I'm not going to unlock it. And the door on the other side is also locked. I'm not going to unlock that either. So that means uh, uh, things that attack can't get through that door. That's basically the necessity of that one. So yes, I've, uh, as you can see, I've added uh, a vault a dormitory up there, and uh, this gate, uh, which confounds most creatures in the Commonwealth, including the settlers. Thankfully, the companions can find their way through. That there is a, a ghoul gate, that's what we call a ghoul path, to lead them, uh, they can't get in. Uh, about this time, um, Phyllis should be in the cafeteria. Yes, there she is there, having a nice uh, uh, Salisbury steak. And I'm here to do a bit of building upstairs. Although the build limit has already been reached, uh, I can build quite simply by dropping things on the floor and either using them or storing them in the workbench. Right, let's get upstairs and get this build going. So as you can see, it's a little bit sparse in here at the moment. I need to stick some beds down and uh, yeah, fill it up with cells and get this place up and running properly. As you can see though, it's already got the nuclear reactor fitted, so uh, power is not going to be a problem. So all I have to do now is make some beds. And I'm going to do that by using or simply storing these items in the workbench. Uh, the best way I found of uh, building when the build limit is maxed out. So storing items in the workbench doesn't give you uh, uh, as much uh, leeway as scrapping items. The peculiarity is obvious that when you're close to the build limit or over the build limit and you scrap something of uh, reasonable value or um, it's got quite a lot of components in it, um, it gives you quite a lot of leeway actually. Like this, the uh, scrap this uh, advanced gun. So uh, you'll notice that the little line at the top right and so on, the size actually decreases a little bit while you um, use up the resources that you've already used. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing down here at the Gret Marina. I'm setting up camp so that I can march an army of 10 uh, or more uh, across the wasteland from one settlement to the other. So that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this very short video and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye for now.